let's catch up on the latest several Unum of Dark Crystal news, Almadra Mayrin, Juni, Jared July, and through to this month of Mother August, on today's episode of the Dark Crystal Conjunction. Well, howdy all and welcome to the Dark Crystal Conjunction, your YouTube dream space to nerd out about all things the Dark Crystal. Lots of updates that we need to go through to catch up on all the news since I haven't made one of these since early May. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I am back trying to keep up with this again. So let's dive right into the news starting with the fan event happening this weekend. It's the second Thrawathon, and just like the last one, we fans plan to binge watch Age of Resistance this Friday, August 28th through Sunday, August 30th. Last time we did this, it was a lot of fun, and we got the show to show up on some folks' now trending bar in Netflix. We want to try to do that again, push it even further, keep Netflix's eye on the Dark Crystal. But not only that, there are many fan events that will be taking place over the weekend, including art contests of all different sorts, body art, 2D art, 3D art, hosted by Trial by Stone, Dark Crystal podcast that is. Um, I'll be hosting either one or two trivia competitions, depending on time. And all these things above will include prizes. So, Dark Crystal themed, of course. There'll be groups doing live stream talks and more. And once I get more details finalized, I'll aim to make a video this week all about that. But at the very least, watch Age of Resistance with us this weekend and ensure that the show stays on everyone's radar and maybe you can push it out to more people's uh, eyes who haven't seen it yet. So anyways, it's a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to it happening again this coming weekend. We got some updates about the next book set to release, The Dark Crystal Bestiary, The Definitive Guide to the Creatures of Thra. The hardcover is going to be by Adam Sassar, as we found out, and illustrations by Iris Compiet, with a forward from Brian and Wendy Froud. And if you're asking, like I've seen some people like, oh, like what? Like why can't the Frouds do this? Believe it or not, the Frouds actually wanted Iris to do it. They handpicked her, which is an incredible honor. She does mention that she did do over a thousand illustrations for this, and about 900 wind up in this book, so it looks great. It's going to be a 168-page hardcover, dropping October 13th, 2020. And just look at all that artwork. It looks just incredible. I'm really excited to see some more different artists for the Dark Crystal and seeing what their vision of Thra is. It all feels very Froudian, but with their own touch as well, of course, paying honor to that. So it is currently on pre sale for $26.99 US dollars. Furthermore, these awesome illustrations will also be featured in the Dark Crystal Bestiary Creature Soft Cover Notebook, releasing January 19th, 2021. Currently on pre-sale for $11.99 US dollars. It will contain 240 pages, and so far we have just this one preview of how the inside will look. Seems like something that would be great to give any Dark Crystal fan. Since we last talked, in the comics world, we are knee-deep in the final arc of the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance series. This last arc being about Mayrin, when she was a young Almadra. Issue number 10 just came out last week, August 19th, and the comic schedule is now normalized, so issue 11 will be dropping next month, September 16th, and the final issue dropping October 21st, 2020. I'm still overall very much enjoying this series, the stories, the interior art, the cover art, and all the variants, and hope more Dark Crystal comics are on the horizon, as this last series has been a good run thus far. Last we looked at Weta Workshop statues, we saw Irva the Archer, but of course, you can't have light without dark, so Weta also dropped the 1-6 scale statue of the fearsome Skekmal the Hunter. Like the other Skeksis, he is a 499 US dollar statue and limited to 400 statues, so get it while you can. Irva the Archer is even steeper though, at 699 US dollars. Also note that the Archer and Skektek are currently showing as low stock, with many others already sold out. But anyways, check out their Weta Workshop to see some more incredible detail on these statues. They never fail to impress me. As previously noted, Record Store Day was changed due to COVID, and now will be coming to us in several drops. The first being August 29th. But for the specific Dark Crystal records, the first one will be coming to us on September 26th, with the Age of Resistance Ariel record dropping that day, 2,000 records, and then on October 24th, the Crystal Chamber one will drop, again just being a limited press of 2,000 records. You can check out recordstoreday.com to find the nearest retailer near you. Otherwise, I guess you're stuck with eBay. <laughs> While there has been Gen and Kira Halloween outfits online, it looks like the Gen costume got an update and will be available for $79.99 US dollars on October the 5th. If you don't have time uh, to make your own costume, I think with 80 bucks you could come up with something a lot better than this, but if this is all you got, you can make this work. 
Um, it's just, this picture cracks me up, the way that guy looks and his facial hair, and I don't know why he has a purple shark, but whatever. There you go, I'm not going to say anything more about this. <laughs> Enjoy that picture there. And for one last minute entry that I just got word of this morning, the Dark Crystal Gelfling Clan Sewn Notebook Box Set. It's a set of seven, and it says that they are box pocket-sized journals. They each weigh about 1.75 pounds, 80, 80 pages. I assume each. I assume that each one of these little notebooks is 80 pages each. And the dimensions are 3.6 by 1.5 by 5 and 3 fourths inches. So it looks like a really cool little gift coming out January 5th, 2021. And it's currently on pre sale for $19.99 US dollars. And look at that great artwork again coming from the Dark Crystal Bestiary. Lastly, congrats to the puppets and crew of Netflix The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance for having been nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Children's Program. This is well deserved for all the hard work that went to bring Thra to life on the small screen. And in honor of this, Netflix put out this really cool little virtual reality-ish draining chamber uh, from this castle of the crystal that shows some behind the scenes clips, some including new behind the scenes stuff that I had never seen, uh, new facts as well. You can check that out and more at experiencefyse.com. Well, I think that catches us up on the news. I know I kind of crammed it all in there because I didn't want to get too long, but I do look forward to what we learn in the coming Uno. But did I miss anything? Dream it down below or just let me know what you're excited about and let's together continue to nerd out about all things the Dark Crystal. So until next time, keep exploring Thrall.